Are you considering trading the Golden State's smog-filled skies with the blue, clear skies of the Grand Canyon State? Hi, my name is Nicole Black, your Arizona Realtor, and I know I did. Stay tuned while I explain why we moved from California to Arizona. First off, the obvious one, the cost of living. So when I lived there, we put in an offer on a condo, what well, apartment it turned into a condo that was 800 square feet. It was a mile from Hermosa Beach. So good location, right? It had concrete floors, no parking. You would have fight for a parking spot on the road at one night when you got home and pray that you found one, right? And if you live in California, you know what I'm talking about when you've got to pray for parking. Um, so we put in the offer and it got accepted. And when it did, I started hyperventilating for what that was going to cost. It was astronomical and insane. And the quality of life that it was going to provide just didn't match the price of admission. Compared to California, the average rents and daily cost of living in Arizona are a steal. According to CNN's cost of living calculator, if you have a salary of $100,000 and you're living in San Francisco to have the same quality of life in Phoenix, Arizona, you would only need to make $52,000. Now, if you had make a $100,000 salary in San Diego, California, you'd have to make around $72,000 in Phoenix. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Long Beach area, you'd have to make around $69,000. I know California has beautiful landscape and amazing weather in some of its areas. But you kind of have to ask yourself, is the price of admission worth it? Or could it be better somewhere else? Second, state and income taxes. Hate to break it to you, but in California, you guys have to pay almost double the state income tax. The Arizona individual income tax is about 4.5%, while in California, it's 9.3%. Also, the sales tax in Arizona is more like 6.6% and in California, it's over 7%. If you're finding this information to be helpful, please like and subscribe. A third reason to move to Arizona from California is our job growth. Now, if you're new to this channel and you are interested in a job in technology, please check out this video right here um, about GPEC, which is the Greater Phoenix Economic Council, and this one right here too. So you go back to the homepage, find these two. They're gonna be very helpful for finding a job in technology. The forecast for Arizona's job growth is on the rise. We're looking at about an average of 1.9% in 2024 and 1.8% growth in 2025. Number four is the traffic. I know you know, I know you know. When I live there, I worked only nine miles from where I was living, nine. And it would take on average 45 minutes to an hour to get to work and home. I remember going places and trying to figure out, okay, if it's two o'clock, I'm going south on the 405 and I'm going to leave it. And like scheduling my days of where I was going to go when based on the time of day to try to avoid at least amount of traffic as possible. In addition, I would actually stay even in places two hours longer when I wanted to be home just to avoid and minimize my amount of time sitting in traffic. The one thing we are all have that's equal is time. And it's also one thing we cannot get back. And I didn't want to sit anymore living it in traffic. Now I know, please don't get me wrong, Arizona does have traffic, but it is not even comparable to California. The fifth reason why we moved to Arizona from California was natural disasters. Now I was so blessed to not get at any point stuck in a huge earthquake, a big fire, or mudslide. Now I did get to witness the damage that the fires did um, to the houses, which was so sad, but I was very, very fortunate to not experience any of those, and nor did I ever want to. Now Arizona is not very prone to natural disasters. We are protected here. Um, and since 1953, we've only had 103 disasters. That's not that much compared to California, which has had 355, making it the most disaster prone state in the country. The sixth reason why we moved from California to Arizona was just convenience. I love being able to go run errands and go to Target and easily pull into a parking spot and it's actually big enough for my car to fit in. I know you know what I'm talking about. Every parking spot in California pretty much is compact. It's challenging even to find one and if you do, it usually doesn't even fit your car. Also, make sure when you run your errands that you do not have to go use a restroom. If you do have to use a public restroom, they're typically not up to my and many sanitary conditions, or you have to pay to use one. It was 
very stressful and a bigger ordeal just to run normal errands on a daily basis living there. And again, I looked at my ROI. What is my return on investment for what I'm paying to be here? I found it way better to be in Arizona. And being that said, that is our seventh reason why we moved to Arizona from California was our ROI. What was our return on our investment from living in California and what we were paying and what we were getting back out of it? We looked at Arizona and we weighed our pros and our cons and it just kept stacking up higher and higher for the pros versus the con to be in Arizona. And I have to tell you my previous career, I traveled to 41 of our 50 states and no matter what I saw, Arizona always had the best ROI. I absolutely love it here. If you have any further questions about Arizona, I would love to share them with you. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe because this is what we do. If you have any questions at all about Arizona, please call, text, or email, whatever your preferred communication is, and we will get back to you. Wherever you are in the world today, hope you're doing absolutely amazing and never forget, we are always here for you.